Okay, go ahead and go to this website here. I'm gonna have a link to it on the description. Once you get there, find where it says online scanner on the right side. Click on that. That'll take you to this page. When you get here, click on, on this uh, button here. He said online scanner. That will bring this window here. Uh, accept the terms of use. Make sure that's checked and hit start. I've noticed that it takes a while on this uh, online scanner to to kind of get it set up. Like right here, it'll take you know a couple of couple of minutes. Um, it's it's not normal for for it to do that, but I guess they're still working on on developing it. Okay, when you when you see this uh, yellow bar across the top, just select it and hit install this add-on. And then it, you're gonna get this a few times, or probably once. And you, when you hit retry, it'll go ahead and, and take its time to to load whatever it needs to load. And while this is loading, um, let me go ahead and tell you the steps or which programs I use uh, whenever I'm removing viruses from a computer. The first one I use, which I've made videos on on these different programs, the first one I would use would be a malware bytes. Um, I would use that that first to to start, you know, kind of begin the process. After that, I would use combo fix. Um, after that, I would uh, use AVG. With those uh, three uh, programs, it, it's pretty much going to be, you know, taken care of. But then I go. The last one I use is ESET Online Scanner because it, it kind of catches some things that that these other three don't catch, and uh, vice versa. These other pro programs catch things that the ESET Online Scanner uh, isn't going to catch. So when you get this uh, window here, just click Install. So that's uh, <clears throat> if you kind of. They don't know where to get started. That that would be the way, or that's the way that I that I do it. Um, I usually run, uh, you know, some of these twice to you know kind of get the the computer kind of clean. On this section, make sure remove found threads is checked, and I also do uh, scan archives, and then I select start. And what it's doing here, it's just updating the the virus signature database in case any new viruses um, have been made since the, the database was updated it'll go ahead and, and keep you current after that uh, updates it'll start to do uh, its scan I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video uh, until it starts to, or until it begins to do the scan just so you'll, you'll kinda see what it what it looks like all right. Once the uh, update is done, it'll start. It'll automatically start scanning your computer, and it'll it'll find any malware that's that's on the computer, and it'll automatically de delete it. So once it's done, it'll give you kind of a a wrap up of what it did, uh, which found anything or which files it deleted. So go ahead and, and give it a try. Um, if you had any success or if it, it removes any viruses, just make sure to, to comment below. And as always, don't forget to rate and subscribe. Uh, that way you'll be informed of any new videos that, that I post up. And the purpose is just to you know help you to remove any malware at the same time teach you different techniques that us people who have been in, in this business for for quite some time and, uh, we will teach you some of the, the, the tips and tricks that we we know and that I found or <clears throat> that I know a couple of us t uh, technicians have found to work so go ahead and uh, like I said do me a favor and, and rate comment and subscribe and I'll keep these videos coming so uh, have a good day and I'll see you on the next one